Hope you like this little kind of shop with me haul I've got going on today. Um, I'm just gonna jump right in. I basically did mostly like Christmas decor and then a few beauty items, not too many. So I'm gonna start off with, before I started filming the shop with me and went in the store, out on the sidewalk, they had all these ornaments. So I wanna try to do this year for the tree, something I've never done before, which is ornament clusters. I don't know what's going on with my hair right now. Okay. Um, I kind of am going to try to stick to traditional colors. So green, red, gold, silver, I'm gonna mix metallics. I like to get like the most reflective ornaments that I can possibly find. I like when it reflects the Christmas lights and just makes everything twinkle. So these little matte ones aren't gonna be very reflective, but the glitter ones are definitely gonna be. And I tried to get different sizes. Now I have already in my collection regular sized ornaments a little bit larger than this so i wanted to pick up kind of medium sized ones and then mini ones this was the first one that i grabbed these will definitely be reflective of the lights and then the glitter um and then i just got all red glitter but they're a little bit if you can tell like these are a little bit smaller than these there's 12 in here and then there's 15 in here and then when I was walking through the store I found this which I just it's all glitter I liked just the different mix of metallics in there they have the gold and the silver and then a rose gold and then just a sparkly white which isn't very sparkly actually but I already have some white glitter like full-size ornaments so and then I grabbed these also, these were five for $1.25. So I'm going to try to just do like clusters. And I haven't decided yet if I'm going to do a video of me decorating the tree or not. I haven't done a tree decorating video. Um, we've always had a real tree. And this year we bought an artificial like pre-lit tree for $27. I got that on a, on a Black Friday deal. So I'm super excited about that. Um, in order to make the clusters, I picked up two of these. What do they call them? So they call them garland ties. It's basically a pipe cleaner made out of artificial tree tinsel, I guess. Um, I'm gonna use those. And then I grabbed, this is just, I'm going to use as basically like tree filler. So I'm going to put this on first and kind of bury it deep into the branches and kind of let it hang down so that there's no empty spots. So this is going to be filler. It's again, very reflective. I want everything to just kind of twinkle and sparkle as much as possible. I think that's one of my favorite things about Christmas is like the Christmas lights and the Christmas tree. So I got three of those. They had all different kinds of these. You'll see in um, the shop with me video that I think I'm gonna do before the haul. Let me see what else. I have any more decorating. No, that's it. So that's everything I got for just Christmas decorations, mainly tree stuff, I think. Um, I have my husband's like work Christmas party and all of the supervisors have to bring a dessert this year. So they're having it a new place and they're kind of doing a potluck as to where before it was catered. I wouldn't say a potluck. It actually is gonna be catered, but for whatever reason they've decided the supervisors and managers, um, directors are all bringing the dessert. So I'm going to make um, my chewy peanut butter cookies that everybody loves and I got these containers. They had blue snowflakes with a blue lid and then they had um, red and green candy canes with a green lid. So they had different options. This one was my favorite. I loved the reindeer. So I just grabbed two of those and I that's something that I can just like take there, set on the table with the desserts 
open the lid and then it can get left there and just tossed out or if somebody wants to take it they can but it's not something where I have to concern myself with getting my dish back like I don't I don't care and then the day after the Christmas party we're going to be in the Christmas parade again with his work so Brett my husband is going to be driving one of the trucks and then me and Bo, my youngest, Cole, does not want to participate. So he's probably just going to go to grandma and grandpa's. So I got these for me and Bo. I thought they would be cute. We're going to be sitting either on an airboat or on kind of a hayride, but on a trailer of some kind um, and throwing beads out. So I got these for us to wear. I really hope that he would like to be the elf and I can be the cute little reindeer, but I have a feeling he's gonna wanna be the reindeer and I'm gonna get stuck with these. Either way, they're super cute. And again, I believe that it's in the Shop With Me video, so many different options of Christmas themed headbands. So many different options. Um, this kind of also is for the tree. We always like to get candy canes. I like to get the cherry flavored candy canes. So we always put these on the tree every year. And then I also grabbed, I think I grabbed two of these, just exactly the same. I mean, I know I grabbed two of these. I don't know if I didn't get my second one. Maybe I didn't grab two. Maybe I just grabbed one because there's a hundred of these in there and I don't think I'm going to wrap a hundred gifts. But I get these every year. Um, sometimes they last me for, for two Christmas seasons but they're just sticker gift tags and they have all different kinds to choose from. But this is the most that you can get. Uh, it's 104 tags for $1.25. This is the, mo the most tags you can get. Like it's the best value, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Holy moly. All right, and then there's a couple things left, just kind of random. Um, I found these two and I'm gonna use these as like a blush and a bronzer. Um, but I've never seen these before. And what drew me to them really is that it's essentially ageless. Um, the bronzer, it says blurring pressed powder with hyaluronic acid and vitamin C. I've never seen this at Dollar Tree before. And then this one is the same brand, Essentially ageless, ageless Luminizing Blush infused with Camilla oil. So anything that's essentially ageless, I'm all over. Um, I haven't been using powder makeup for probably a year or two now and I'm kind of starting to bring it back in because I feel like the cream just doesn't, it just doesn't last as long. So I do my tinted moisturizer and then if I do like a powder blush, which I have on now, you can still see it. So it's, it, it lasts a little bit longer than like putting the cream blush on. So I'm kind of going back to the powders for like blush, bronzer, eyeshadow. I'll take my glasses off so you can actually see my face. I went and got new glasses today too, so I'm excited for that. Um, I probably won't get them for like two weeks, but I got new frames and a new prescription. So hopefully I'll actually be, be able to read. <laughs> that would be great. Um, they had three, three that I can recall for sure different palettes. And I chose the Moody Neutrals. Um, they're all just kind of like burgundy and bronze colors. Really pretty. And then I grabbed just, I don't have any headbands and I like to wear headbands. I always wear headbands whenever we go to Disney. I think they're super cute. They keep the hair back out of my face, but I don't wear headbands unless they are like the Minnie Mouse ears or like I just grabbed these Christmas reindeer ones. So I thought I would pick up, I don't like, I like the ones that are like wrapped. So this is like velvet wrapped. And I thought I would give it a try. I think I might actually like, you know, on two day old, three day old hair, I might just throw a headband on instead of it always being in a ponytail or clipping it back. 
Um, I'm on two day old hair right now. Like I didn't wash my hair last night. I washed it the night before. So you can see it's quite, quite shiny and starting to get a little, a little oily at the top. So I don't know. It's a dollar. If I don't, if I don't use it, I don't use it. But I thought it was cute. And they have a lot of options of headbands, fabric covered headbands to choose from. I picked this up. Um, I don't have a baby anymore, obviously. My youngest is a kindergartner. But they all wear Crocs barefoot and they get filthy. So I've been using like a kitchen sponge, but I just throw it out immediately. I don't reuse it after. I thought maybe trying to use a bottle brush to like get inside the Croc and just kind of scrape everything off. I don't know if this is going to work. I don't know if this is the bristles are going to be firm enough or stiff enough, but I'm going to give that a try. So that's what I got that for. And then the very last thing that I hauled um, is some sugar-free candies. Now, there's not very many in here. There's three candies in here for $1.25, but I feel like you can get these smaller bags at drugstores, Walmart, Target, Walgreens, places like that. And they're close to like $3.99 most of the time. And you're still only getting three candies. So I feel like it's a better deal to pick them up at Dollar Tree when you can find them. And they have a lot of variety there. They have all different kinds. I got the coconut and I got the peppermints. Those are my favorite. And then I've never gotten these before, um, but I do like just the soft caramels. And these are sugar-free where there's original soft caramels. So I grabbed those too. That's everything.